Well, it's really good to see you and welcome to Morning Prayer on Tuesday, the 1st of February. Amazing to think that we're already into February. We've got through um, a month um, of the new year. Um, today we're remembering um, Brigid, Abbess of Kildare. For the second day running, shockingly, um, I know nothing about her. Um, so um, clearly I need to do my homework. Um, however, we are going to offer Psalm 97 today and uh, continue our journey through the Gospel of Matthew as we um, approach um, the cross uh, and come towards the end of that gospel. Um, we're praying for all people today in the diocese who work with young people um, and um, so we'll be pleased to do that as well as praying for the world and the day and the church. So let's gather ourselves together in the presence of God as we pray together. O oh Lord open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and the peoples have seen your glory. Oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth, and serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name, for the Lord is gracious. His steadfast love is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Words of Psalm 97. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings lit up the world. The earth saw it and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declared his righteousness and all the peoples have seen his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in mere idols. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoiced because of your judgments, O God. For you, Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his faithful and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joy for the true of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Psalm which reminds us of God's sovereign nature, high over all the earth. Sometimes perhaps we do well to remember God as, as creator, God as supreme and mighty. But God, even though he is, he loves us so infinitely individually, knows us better even than we know ourselves, at the same time he's Lord of all creation. Matthew 27, verses 27 to 44. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the governor's headquarters and they gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on his head. 
they put a reed in his right hand and knelt before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And after mocking him, they stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man from Cyrene named Simon. They compelled this man to carry his cross. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his clothes among themselves by casting lots. Then they sat down there and kept watch over him. Over his head they put the charge against him, which read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Then two bandits were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would just destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the Son of God, come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests also, along with the scribes and elders, were mocking him, saying, he saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now if he wants to. For he said, I am God's son. The bandits who were crucified with him also taunted him in the same way. hard to read that passage and not be reminded of the humiliation Jesus suffered on the cross, well before the cross and then on the cross itself. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. I worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tell out his salvation from day to day. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Father, we come to our prayers of intercession now, thanking you for your word. Lord, we thank you for the words of our psalm reminding us of your sovereign, mighty, wonderful nature. Lord, we thank you that you are the Lord of all creation. You have made everything, including ourselves, that everything we have, everything there is, is yours. Lord, help us to put our faith in you and live our lives as though we believe that you are on your throne. Help us to take a moment to remember your supreme nature. And Lord, as we read that passage about Jesus at crucifixion, we remember too that through him you experienced humiliation and pain and even death. Lord, you're not a God who is remote from us. We know that you're very much there with us, sharing in our joys and also in our sorrows. Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we do lift to you the, the sorrows of our world, the pain and the suffering that we see around us, which you're not remote from, which you lament with us. And Lord, we remember our own part in that fallen, broken nature uh, of creation. Lord, we know that each and every one of us contributes to the pain of the world in different ways through the mistakes we make, through our failures, through our faults. Collectively, as humankind, we do a great deal to bring down creation. So, Lord, we ask for your forgiveness. We call to mind our own general sin, but also our own individual sins. 
the ways in which we've hurt other people, hurt you. Lord, we can only ask for your forgiveness and ask that your Holy Spirit will lead us into truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we do pray for those parts of the world which are suffering, especially at the moment. Where there is warfare at places like Afghanistan, parts of the Middle East, and particularly Ukraine and the surrounding area. Lord, we pray for victims of natural disasters, the storms that have already hit other countries and are hitting us now. Lord, we pray for their victims and all who are affected by it. Lord, we remember those in our own vicinity who are suffering too. For those who live in, in poverty of any kind. Lord, we pray that you would raise up the body of Christ upon earth to love and support them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray especially today for all who work with and minister to children and young people. Thanking you once again for the links that we have, the strong links with our two uh, Church of England primary schools at Staple Grove and Norton. Thanking you for the work done by our governors, by uh, uh, Sandy and Iona at Staple Grove and Rosemary, supported by John at Norton. Lord, we thank you that, that both schools take seriously their Christian values and ethos. And Lord, we pray that they may indeed be places where your kingdom values are championed and form the basis of people's lives. And Lord, we pray for those who work across the diocese with children and young people for Andy Levitt. And thank you, Lord, that I'll be meeting him later this week. Lord, we thank you for our own ministry here in the benefice with children and young people, albeit albeit emerging at the moment and somewhat limited in recent months. Lord, we thank you for our messy church, for our open the book in the process of preparing and recording their next story, and for the ways in which we support young people. Lord, we pray for the plans and intentions that, that we have, and more importantly, that you have for us. We pray that your spirit will grow in us as we explore this important part of life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, as always, we gather before you, thinking of and praying for those we know who are suffering in body, mind or spirit. Praying for John and Jean, as well as Rosemary. Lord, there will be others, perhaps uh, known to us, perhaps not, known to you. Lord, we pray simply that your Holy Spirit will be with them. As indeed, we pray for those who are in grief at the moment, friends and families of Pat at Batten and of Viv Davis, as well as Chris Young and his family as he mourns the loss of his brother, and at Keith. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will draw alongside these people, give them strength and comfort. And Lord, we thank you that your son Jesus Christ, through his death and resurrection, his bursting from the tomb, have defeated death. We pray, Lord, that that will be a real sense of hope for all of us. But Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us now. My own participation in our house group this morning. Lord, I do thank you for that group, for Alison's leadership of it and uh, Anne's hosting. Lord, I know that that's a real 
a place of fruitful growth. Lord, we pray that today that will be no different, that your hand will be upon us, that each and every one of us will be blessed by your presence. Lord, at the same time, I pray for other visits and activities that I have scheduled today, and indeed that we all do. Pray that your hand will be upon us and lead and guide us as we seek to be sent by you to bring good into the world and to be faithful to your call upon us. So God, our creator, who in the beginning commanded the light to shine out of darkness, we pray that the light of the glorious gospel of Christ may dispel the darkness of ignorance and unbelief, shine into the hearts of all your people and reveal the knowledge of your glory. In the face of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Believing the promises of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his spirit. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me today. Um, no interruptions from dogs, um, I don't think, today, which is good. Um, so uh, I hope you have a great day and look forward to catching up with you soon. Take care. <laughs>